you have a history of having a gastric bypass such as a row and Y or a gastric sleeve are some of the most popular interventions out there from a surgical standpoint and you've lost a tremendous amount of weight first of all great work but let's say you're starting to regain it or you re you regained all of it then getting on a GLP-1 receptor agonist is likely a good option but be careful as you re-lose this weight number one build more muscle but you can get find yourself in that mindset trap that you need to just keep losing and losing and once you lose a lot of weight again it can get a little bit of a dopamine or you get stuck in the mindset you need to keep losing less and the reality is that is no longer the truth your situation has changed you're successful you may need to eat more carbohydrates to build that muscle back or you've neglected that for so long that you've become completely malnourished your bones are thin and you're just always in the hospital that is not what we want at the end of the day. That is not being healthy. You wanna be more functional, you wanna have strength, and if that means you have a little bit of, of, of excess um, subcutaneous fat, according to your perception, then it's okay. But what we can't do is you get stuck in that mindset. I just need to keep eating less and less and less and less carbs. No, that's a recipe for disaster. The GLP ones make it so easy to forget to eat. And that's why I don't coach, I coach my patients to follow. I have three guys, I have another video on that because I'm running out of time. But you still gotta eat the right amount of all the macronutrients, especially if you have that history because you will be more sensitive, at least I have found in my practice, you will be more sensitive to those GLP-1 receptor agonists and it can cause significant amount of appetite suppression. I'll see you at the next video.